Now, many folks are concerned about the goings-on down at the General Land Office under George P. Bush, the Texas Land Commissioner. Unfortunately, George P. seems to be under the impression that Texas lands are his lands for political advancement. Case in point, the Alamo. When it came time to protect our history at the Alamo, George P. fired the daughters of the Republic of Texas who tended to our heritage for over 100 years. He then formed secret nonprofits that an audit found were mismanaged and lacked transparency. George P. was forced to resign from the Alamo Trust. But little George P. couldn't leave well enough alone because he had big plans for the Alamo. He'd reimagine it. Hey, George P., the Alamo definitely doesn't need reimagining. But that's not all George P. couldn't handle as land commissioner. When Hurricane Harvey hit, he managed the GLO relief fund so poorly, the governor brought in the head of another state agency to run the show. That's right. George P. makes over $140,000 a year. He can't handle his job. So if you plan to vote for conservatives, don't mark this box on the ballot. It's called straight ticket voting. You know what happens when you do that? You end up voting for little George P. It's time to send a clear message to George P. Bush. These lands are our lands, and we're going to give you the boot. 